Hi, I'm going to show you one of my very favorite Photoshop tips. Did you know that you can step and repeat in Photoshop? Most people who've been using Photoshop for long know that you can transform objects by holding down the command key, that's control on a PC, and tapping T. That puts you into free transform mode, and when you're there, you can rotate things, you can resize them proportionally or disproportionally, you can do all sorts of things. I'm going to tap the escape key to get out of that. Most people also know that if you have the Move tool and you hold down the Option key, that's Alt on the PC, and drag, you can make a copy. You can tell you're going to because the cursor turns into two little arrows, and when you drag, if it wasn't selected, you have a copy on a new layer. I'm going to undo that, and then I'm going to select all with Command A, that's Control A on a PC, and I'm going to hold down the Option key, Alt on a PC, and drag again, and because it was selected, I've now made two copies on the same layer. And drop the selection and undo. What you might not know is that you can combine these things. So if you hold down the Option key while you hold down Command and tap T, that's Alt Control T on a PC, you can transform and leave a copy behind. I'm going to hold down the Shift key and drag the corner to transform this rectangle proportionally. Double click to accept the transformation. And now I have two the second copy is on a new layer because I did not have it selected. You might also not know that if you hold down Shift when you hold down the Command key, that's Shift Control on a PC, and tap T, you can redo the last transformation. I'm going to just delete this layer because I don't need that. So you can combine all three of these things. If you hold down the Shift key and the Option key and Command, that's Shift Alt Control on a PC, and tap the T key, you will make a new copy and apply the transformations as quickly as you can tap T. You can essentially step and repeat with Photoshop. Which means that some things that you might have thought were difficult turn out to actually be fairly trivial. For instance, say you have a single petal like this and you want to make a flower. All you have to do is hold down the Option and Command keys, that's Alt, Control, and PC, tap the T key, move the reference point here to the tip of the flower petal, and then up here in the Options bar, just change the rotation to 72 degrees, double-click to accept the transformation, and you have a new pedal perfectly placed. If you hold down Shift, Option, Command, that's Shift, Alt, Control, and tap T, you can make five copies, and you can have your flower beautifully done with all of the petals right where they should be, just as easily as that. Now, of course, the bottom petal and the top petal don't overlap properly in this particular example, but we can fix that very easily. If you hold down the Command key, that's Control on a PC, and tap on the layer thumbnail for the bottom petal, you can load the active pixels from that layer as a selection. Then all you have to do is hold down the Option key, that's Alt on a PC, go to the Make New Mask icon at the bottom of the Layers panel, and you can make a mask that's inverted as you make it. So the mask will hide the pixels that are currently selected instead of showing those and hiding all of the others. Just like that. And now you have your perfect flower made just as easily as that. Paste in a center, which I already have on my clipboard, and you have a flower. Since the top layer is already selected, if I hold down the Shift key and select the bottom layer, I can select all of them in more recent versions of Photoshop, then go to the Layer panel, and I can make a new group from the layers. We'll call this Flower. Tap OK. And there I have Flower in a group. I can transform this too by holding down Command and tapping T. Sadly, I can't use the combinations. Um, it won't make another copy if I hold down the Option key. But oh well, I can resize it in the normal fashion. And I can double click to accept that and make new copies by just dragging them out the way that I ordinarily would. so you can make several different copies. Now if I wanted to change the color of the flower, all I'd have to do is open up the layer group here and make a new layer above the petals but below the center because I don't want to change the color of that. Go to the Adjustment Layer icon and I can choose a Hue and Saturation layer and I can make the petal blue. Nice bright blue. Click in the gray area to hide the adjustment panel because I don't have a lot of room here. Now I don't want the other flowers to be blue and I certainly don't want the centers to be purple, so what I would do is select the entire group by clicking on the group folder up here and change the group blend mode from pass through to normal 
and then the adjustment layer will only affect the other layers that are in that group. And that's how easy it is to do certain things, to make flowers and lots of other things, using Step and Repeat in Photoshop. This has been Robin Wood, and I hope that you found this helpful.